Nikki is a brilliant playwright, and I think everyone in this room agrees with that. She has such a vibrant, original voice. Her plays are like nobody else's plays. Our play joins history to myth. Some of it is dramatic interpretation, and some of it is real. This interpretation of Nick's is not a straight up uh, biographical take on this moment in time where Jane Byrne stays at Cabrini Green. Nick asks, how do we live? Some of that finds us here at this play. What has built Chicago, Chicago political machine, the Chicago mafia, the Chicago gang system, of course, the intersection with Cabrini Green, law enforcement, and the first ward which all play a big part and have laid the foundation for what Cabrini would become. But we examine where that intersection of privilege and power comes into play. We didn't want the experience of just, you know, having an audience member come in and expect to see a set. We want to escort them into something that will hopefully feel way different than the zip code in which we are in. I wanted to have the feeling of there is a history of a people who live in Cabrini, a real life that we can try to create and there is some kind of emotional reaction. The audience feels like they're part of the environment as well. We want to show what cannot be staged. We want to provide mental landscape and hopefully allow spectators to look into the souls of characters and the audience is definitely a character in this story. We're looking at these different moments in time that happened on this specific subject and uh, we're charting through that history. And I think that one thing as, uh, as a projection designer that I'm really excited about is not necessarily just showcasing that footage, but it's looking at what is the actual truth behind what they're saying. There are these TVs that are aligned in the set and the set is also an ability to be a projection surface. There will be moments where things are hyper-realized, so a hairstyle in one scene might completely blow out to something that feels very uh, African. This is a celebration of blackness. It's also a celebration of uh, folks that are Irish, uh, folks that are Polish and, and Italian, all of the folks that we have in the world. So it's just gonna be just like a whole bunch of like weird little, uh, you know what I'm saying? There's this like riot of color in their world. And in contrast to that, Jane is frequently pictured in pale colors. And I thought it'd be exciting to have like the two worlds be super different. So I put everyone in Jane's world in very neutral brights. When you get a group of people who are like the business people or a group of people who are like Cabrini people together, they look really different from each other. When you look at pictures of Cabrini green, there's really not a lot of greenery. So this is really about the sun and how it beats down on this building and how it beats down on these people. Um, and I love the idea of just being able to play with light and shadow and uh, oppressive and not. And I'm so excited about the opportunities to say all of those things. As much as we can try to bring things together is really the way I want to work. 